name's Goran. I'm from the Schneider Electric Level 2 Technical Support Team. In this video, I will be explaining how you can set the Connex COM box to using a static IP address. It's important that you already have your DHCP enabled modem router reset to allow um, the auto assigned range to be reduced so you do have a range where you can set your static IP. The equipment that's required, obviously, modem router and your Connex COM box. You can log into the Connex COM box using the Connex COM box device locator tool and clicking on the IP address. Once you have logged into the Connex COM box, under the actual COM box con configuration settings, you can go to the settings option. And there you can go to the TCP IP settings. Here we can change the TCP IP address to having a static address outside the auto assigned range. We then click save to save that change. And then we can refresh it to read the change that we've made. It's important to grab the gateway address and the DNS server address from your modem router because this is the actual gateway and DNS server that will be used by the COM box to connect to. Finally, you set the use DHCP to being no and then save. Now this will mean that the COM box won't be obtaining an automatically specified IP address from the DHCP enabled modem router, but will be using static IP that's on the same subnet as the modem router in question. Finally, you will need to reboot the COM box for those changes to take effect. Upon it rebooting, we can see that the IP address has changed.